talk to me a little bit about where you see Refuge of Hope maybe in the next five or 10 years. Well, we've actually run out of space in this facility. We moved in here in 2011, and the day we moved in, we were out of room. We have two ministries. We have a, a meal ministry where we serve hungry men, women, and children, anybody that's hungry. We also have a men's emergency and transitional housing shelter. We're the only one in Stark County. And uh, we serve, we have 34 beds, and we serve anybody that's homeless. See, I'm Timothy Priest. Yeah, I stayed here in bed 23, right back there, for a whole year straight. And so tell us a little bit about your story here at Refuge of Hope. I came from a broken situation where I, I kind of lost my family and my, my kids. And, and plus, I didn't have God in my life at the time, so I was just basically just kind of winging it. And it caught up on me. God's got my attention. So uh, it led me through the Refuge of Hope, through the crisis center when I was there first to get treatment. Not only that I was, uh, that I used to stay here, you know, I was, you know, I was a broken wrench as well, saved by grace. You know, and I was right there in the, in the, right in the muck of the mire with these guys, you know what I mean? So it was, it's like, it, 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 it well, excuse me, it gets a little, it gets me right there, because I know what they're going through. We've been sleeping for the past seven years. We've been over capacity. Uh, through this year, through July, we're at 132% of capacity. So the need has been, it's very great. That's amazing. And so we're building a new facility and God has just blessed this. Uh, uh, we are building this facility. Started about a couple weeks ago of actually digging the foundation. We're a year ahead of our original schedule. And that's just, thank you God for being yeah. so, uh, such a kind provider. Yeah. Uh, we not only want to build this, but it should be about three times the size of our current facility. Mm -hmm. And it's not only to serve more people, but it's offer more services. You know, so what we want to do is help these men move from homelessness to independence and to relaunch their lives and go back out in the community and become a successful member of the community. Yeah. And once after I got my apartment, I uh, moved on and got a job and everything and everything was going good and got God back in my life and started to do the straight and narrow. Still a work in progress, not done. And by doing that, I always came back. So we, uh, like I said, in May, they offered me a job as a second shift supervisor here, which I, I see, that's why I know it was God's calling for me to keep coming back. Dwayne, um, Faith Family Church, just we believe in you. We believe in the vision that you have at Refuge of Hope. And we're so thankful for how you are having such an impact in our city. And so on behalf of Pastors Mike and Barb Caminetti and Faith Family Church, we just wanted to present you with this check uh, for $10,000. We, we believe in what you're doing. We love you and uh, man, we're with you. We support you. I, I can't even tell you what a blessing this is. I mean, to be the recipients of this kind of generosity and kindness is just overwhelming for all of us. Uh, I hope people realize that this money is gonna go into our operations. This money will feed the hungry and shelter the homeless. Yeah. What would you say to somebody who um, is maybe considering if they should volunteer at Refuge of Hope or if they should support financially? Like, what Do would it you... in a heartbeat. Yeah. Don't even give it a second thought because it's, it's, it's nothing but good that comes out of this. I'm a living witness because it wasn't for the Refuge of Hope. I have no idea where I would be right now. I'm giving you the God's honest truth. I don't know where I would be.